Hey Aries, I hope you're doing well. This is a general reading for what is coming in. Any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. We're going to go ahead and jump right on into your reading here, Aries. I do have personals open. There are three different options and they're starting at $20. So details are in the description for anyone who might be interested. Okay, we've already got three popping out here. Let's see what they are. We have the Chariot, the King of Swords, and the Empress showing up here. I want to give a little bit more than this. There could be a decision going on with a vehicle here. Like you could have to make a decision about a car or about travels, something to do with travels for some of you or how you're going to travel, how you're going to get somewhere, something like that going on here. I feel like you're you're looking into information about that for some of you here. Um, some of you might involve a mother, something involving a mother here, like visiting a mother or a mother visiting you. Um, now, for others of you, there's something like there's a there's a victory after an obstacle here. So you've experienced, encountered some kind of obstacle on your journey, basically. And I do feel like with the chariot showing up, this is, you know, triumph over obstacles. So I feel like you could be moving on from something here. There may be a Cancer, uh, Aquarius, Taurus, or a Libra uh, communicating something to you as well. What else is going on here for Aries? King of Wands. We got Leo energy now. We got two kings showing up here. So yeah, I feel like no matter what the gender is, the gender of the cards doesn't matter. Everybody has masculine and feminine energy. You might be an entrepreneur. We got the page. Goodness gracious, you guys, in your court cards. <laughs> uh, the Page of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then we have Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you, you're definitely looking into a move here or you're looking to, um, you know, bring somebody some kind of help. Like you're trying to help someone here with the Three of Cups, some kind of community. Community, all right, it could be somebody in the family, um, like bringing them into a new community or bringing them into your community. You might be moving someone in with you for some. You do have that will of fortune here that can represent a move, all right. We had that empress show up. Let's go ahead and like dive into that king of swords here. What is this? Who is this? For Aries, five of swords. There's a lot of confusion here that's being cleared up. This Leo or with this Aquarius here, I feel like something is being like a spotlight is being shined on something here, basically that has not been clear. The five of swords can be like mental conflict. The king of swords is like the biggest card of truth to me because you know in the traditional Rider Waite deck, um, he's the only court card that faces straight ahead. The rest of them they look off to the side, they look down. So to me, the king of swords is someone who speaks nothing but honesty and truth. He can be a little bit cold about it. However, I feel like it is the truth. You know, it is the truth uh, coming up here for sure Aries you do have that Empress who is this or what is this I should say the Empress can represent fertility pregnancy um, it can just represent the birth of something new creative energy as well six of swords a creative project moving forward here a lot of you are going to be investing in your your beauty your health you know uh, and those are two separate things by the way I feel like you're investing in both here, Justice. So, yeah, you're doing right by yourself. You're being a friend to yourself here, Aries. It's looking good. King of Wands energy. Yeah, I feel like your confidence is skyrocketing here, and rightfully so. What's going on with the King of Wands? You have the Page of Wands. I feel like there could be a lot of people moving towards you here. You do have the Ten of Swords showing up, though. I feel like some of you are going to end it with this Fire Sign or this Gemini here, Aries. Um, you know, I feel like there's a lot going on with with a person here that's been just round and round, and it's been it. You know, it's been on its way out the door for for quite some time now you know you've been disappointed in it for a while but now that you're really investing in yourself you're feeling like it's time and I feel like you do end something and you look the other way here you do have the page of swords so could be some people watching you here or some yeah some people spying on you here eight of swords yeah there's somebody here who just simply like cannot get you out of their head who is this here oh my goodness myself forward <laughs> oh we have the knight of cups reverse pisces energy but it's in the reverse position this is somebody who's like not genuine they were not genuinely invested they didn't have the same vision as you so they could have been genuine but they didn't have the same vision as you for others of you they definitely were just like not in it the things they said were just not not real you have the ten of wands showing up right here however they kind of carry that guilt with them i do want to look at that queen of pentacles as well the moon pisces and cancer energy There could be something with money that you forgot about here. Four of Wands, you could find something in your home. Like if you've lost something here, I feel like you're going to find it. Um, you know, something physical. Some of you, you may find money or you may find something that's just really valuable that you have lost. Like you've misplaced it. I feel like you're going to find it here. Um, some of you are going to get some information about a home. Like you, you make sure, you're going to want to make sure you're double checking um, things like email, mail, things like that. I feel like there's some communication that could go unnoticed. The moon can represent something hidden and it's communication that would make you really happy, okay? You do have this three of cups and you have that will of fortune. So I do see someone who's trying to reunite with you an Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo possibly. 
What do you have? Okay, the devil, we got Capricorn energy, uh, and we have the six of Pentacles, um, moon and Taurus, moon and Libra energies showing up here. I'm still seeing some breadcrumbing coming from a person here, just like give you a little bit here, give you a little bit there, and maybe that'll make you happy enough to just latch on to me. Yeah, I don't like the energy coming from this individual. I do feel like there could be somebody returning for money here, so keep that in mind, Aries. Uh, let's look at that Wheel of Fortune. What's going on with the Wheel of Fortune? temperance okay a lot of you you're putting a lot of peace out there you're putting a lot of you know hope out there i just feel like you're putting positivity out there and it's being returned to you with this knight of wands energy you may have a sagittarius come towards you here all right but i feel like things start to actually move for you and take off for you because you're cutting things out of your life that don't bring you peace anything that's like not making sense to you regarding people you're just cutting it out entirely you're like if that doesn't bring me peace or if it disturbs my peace then yeah <laughs> i'm cutting it out and i feel like because of this things really start to move for you aries so that's what i'm seeing here for you. I do hope that this was helpful. There are details down below for anyone who might be interested in a personal, but Aries, if this is where we part, thank you for watching this far. I really appreciate you and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.